tutti Hello. allora oggi faremo un video abbastanza divertente non tanto per lui eh, parleremo di modi di dire quelle frasi fatte gli idiomi non so se si dica idiomi in italiano ma va bene eh, che cercherò di tradurre a lui letteralmente ovvero alcuni hanno delle traduzioni in inglese altre no e cercherò di, farli, di tradurle letteralmente lui dovrà indovinare cosa significa quindi magari se parle, parlerà inglese parleremo in inglese tra di noi e per questo motivo perché lui non capisce l'italiano. Ma non è tutto da noi, insomma. Io capisco. <laughs> Totalmente. Tot. <laughs> ok, um, we're gonna start with the first one. The first one is stare con le mani in mano. Translated literally it means being with the hands in the hand. What do you think it does mean? Uh, it probably means something like being very close to someone, you know, because you hold hands. Maybe it has like more than relationship meaning, but like yeah. maybe with friends also? No. Okay. It means when you're not doing literally shit. Like, you're not doing anything to have the situation. Mm. You know? <laughs> I get it, but it's not very funny. <laughs> like, if, it doesn't what, be what is better than I'm grabbing my ass? <laughs> Like that's well, exactly what you, you know, mean. Like, this thing that's cute. That's a cute version. No, it's just that this you use it usually in books and like oh. a formal stuff. Because if you want to say grab my ass, <laughs> if you want to say grab my ass, you can just say mi gratu culo. You can say that. Okay. I just wanted to be more formal there. Oh. This bit is like that. Of course. Okay. Non ci piove. It basically literally means that it does it doesn't rain. What do you think it means? That life is happy. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> when someone say su questo non ci piove, what do you think it means? Like on this it's not raining. I actually have no idea. I, uh, to me it just sounds like something's good when it's not raining. It's basically like it's without doubt. Like oh, su questo non ci piove it means like that you there's see no clearly. There's no doubt about that. So oh, that's interesting. It's pretty cool. Interesting. Next one is acqua in bocca, that literally means water in the mouth. What do you think it means? It's not sexual meaning, before you go there, okay? I'm going to guess that it's something related to uh, when you really have something that you want to say, but you're not saying it, you're keeping it in your mouth. Almost! Try more, you're almost there, you're on the right path. I have to try again? Like, that was my guess? It's kinda like that. It's basically uh, when you have to keep a secret. That, but you're almost mm, there. It's close. It's basically it's close. like when someone say like aqua in bocca, it means like don't tell this anyone. Okay. That's, that's, this have, is have the answer. Okay. Mm. Non avere peli sulla lingua, that basically means. Uh, do not have a hair in the tongue. Do not have hairs on the tongue. What do you think it means? Uh, that you speak very well, no. very nicely. No. Uh, <laughs> when when so, someone I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> basically means like we are being uh, totally honest about everything. That don't have any so lingua. Sometimes it's also negative. That about someone who's like you're being too honest. Ah. You know. I don't think we have an equivalent. No. Maybe. Well, maybe in English, but I can't. Okay. Well, I don't I know, some, some of them they're like kind of weird and I don't know the equivalents either, so yeah. Mm. This thing is one of my faves because they always do say it to me. Avere un diavolo per capello, that basically literally means have, uh, having a devil as, no, okay, having a devil for hair, for each hair. That you're really mean, that you're <laughs> the evilest. It's <laughs> just super evil because you have a lot of hair, so if you have... <laughs> Evil over all your hair, or you have an evil mind and you think of mean stuff. No, it, does, it means like being like very, very angry, like being like super angry. Oh, okay. You, did you just tell me that I'm mean? I never said that. She imagined stuff, guys. Like, <laughs> write in the comments below what you think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think happened? Oh my god, okay. Is doing a mean? Tell us. How dare you? <laughs> I'm talking with your audience. Okay, uh, next thing is fare la gatta morta. That basically means like. Play a dead cat. Playing dead cat. What do you think it means? Like that you're faking something. How dare you? Cats are not fake, first of all. Okay, cats are amazing. And no. 
play a dead cat? Yes. I don't know, man. I have no idea. It's super weird. This one's super weird. That's what basically, it? it's uh, it's someone, like, the first top person that be, it seems nice and naive and stuff like that, but actually she's a fucking bitch. And sometimes when you say, like, fare la gatta morta con qualcuno, it means that you are, like, super flirting with someone, but then, like, you don't want to show it. No. It's not positive way anyway, it's not something positive, it's something negative, like, fare la gatta morta literally means, like, that you are, like, a little bitch. <laughs> the wires don't connect. It makes no freaking sense. It's not my fault, it's a problem. Zero sense. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, we say this. Uh, okay, we say uh, how. What do you think? Okay, this is like in boca lupo. That basically means in the mouth of the wolf. Mm. You say it usually to someone. You say like in boca lupo. What do you think it means? To someone? Yeah, you should usually say to someone. <laughs> Uh, but like, when talking about somebody? No, no. You just tell it so. There's an equivalent in English, uh, I guess but it like, not, not, doesn't have anything with a wolf. It's saying like, you're in trouble. Like something bad is about to happen. No, it means uh, a broken leg. <laughs> when you say so when someone has an exam or something, you, don't, you never say like, good luck, like buona fortuna, you say in bocca lupo, that basically means like a broken leg. I guess break a leg doesn't make sense either. I know. So, but <laughs> like, what did I expect? Ah no, ah no, that's okay. Um, others, let me see. I have others. Uh, this one says "gettare la spugna." That literally means. What do you say, "gettare"? Throw the throw the sponge. Literally means throw the sponge. Oh, to give up. Oh, oh. But it's the same. It's the same in French. Really? In French, you have jeter l'éponge, which is exactly the same thing. Which sounds very ugly. Oblepange. What? It's still funny. <laughs> Oblepange. No, but it's the same thing in French. Ah. That's why. This is why you know what? Yep. It doesn't. Uh, it's not I don't know how to translate it. <laughs> can you translate? I can help you. <laughs> Maybe. With my ginormous oh. hard skills. Arrampicarsi sugli specchi. That basically means like um, climb on mirrors. What do you think it means? To climb on the mirror. On That's the one of the, the most used stuff in Italian. Really? Yes. I have no clue. Wait, I'm going to make a guess. To climb on mirrors. Um, that you are maybe doing something very risky. Like you're gonna break your hands on the mirror because break it's pointy. But it's pointy, my love. It's the mirror is not pointy. The mirror, you can't even climb. That you're mirror. trying to do something very difficult. No, it means that uh, when you try so many excuses that you're just doing that, you are not gonna go anywhere. Usually, teachers use that when people, mm -hmm. when at the exams, people try to say the most bullshits in the world because they don't know the answer, so they just write stuff. And teachers like this side up becomes a super spanky. That means like you don't know stuff. Oh, yeah. You're just trying to. You're, you're trying, but it's garbage. Yes. You're going nowhere. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Next one. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, that's okay. It's not okay. Fare l'avvocato del diavolo means being the lawyer of the devil. We have it in French. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> We could, we could. I have to try. Next time in video. Because I, so I'm not, a lot of them like. Yeah, perfect. Next video, <laughs> we're going to do that. Like that, you don't feel like so, like a bitter dog. How dare you! <laughs> uh, okay, last one. I'm gonna try the last one. Oh, I actually use. Trovare l'America basically means found, find America, find the United States. What do you think it means? Um, I'm going to guess that it's. Like, to realize something that was very obvious. No. Trovare l'America means like uh, that you found uh, someone, usually to be proved, someone so special that is the best thing ever. I don't know why it's Trovare l'America actually. I never use that, but yeah. I found it at least. 
So America is the best thing ever. for the win. The things that you're saying that it's so obvious and blah blah blah, mm -hmm. it's scoprire l'acqua calda. I scoperto l'acqua calda means like you discovered the heat water. Oh. It's like, it's something so obvious that you didn't say anything special. No. Okay, that's pretty cool too. Um, okay, probably you have this, I don't know. Uh, cry on the spilled milk. No. No. Uh, well, uh, uh, basically they say it's a inutile piangere sul latte versato. That basically it's like it's useless to cry on spilled milk. I'm going to convinced? guess that when you do something that's totally meaningless, like you're wasting your time. No, it's basically when you did something and uh, you did something wrong, and after that you complain. Basically, it's useless. You already did that thing. It's useless to talk about it. You know. You understand? Like the thing. Okay. Uh, the thing already happened. Like talking about something that it's like on the floor is like oh. Yeah. Okay. I had the useless part though. <laughs> so that's half a point. Okay. Okay. Which gives me a total of two points. Two right? Two. I got, it's okay. I got two, two half <laughs> points plus one. So I get two. Okay. I call that success. <laughs> success. Very good. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna stop here. Yes. Because you guessed so many stuff. I know. Good. I know. You did a good job. It's Incredible. Okay. These things anyway are kind of hard because it's not so obvious. They were. The you have fucked up expressions. I know, but for they're, sure. they're amazing. Italian is a very amazing language. Okay. We'll see about that. <laughs> I think I'm, I can do better with French language. Oh really? It's on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Ok ragazzi, quindi spero che il video vi sia piaciuto, io ho scelto tipo delle, delle espressioni un po' che uso anche io, altre che invece vabbè non le uso, le ho solo cercate online perché non mi venivano in mente, uh, fatemi sapere uh, quali sono le altre espressioni che voi usate tanto, che vi piacciono di più e noi ci vediamo la prossima volta, ciao! ciao.